Well, if you did watch the transfer special in the last video, you would know that I did have an interview for the Spurs job. Thankfully for Watford, they actually turned me down. I wasn't really interested anyway. We've done the transfer special, so let's get into it. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for Club 4, episode 14 of Hall of Famer here, playing Football Manager 2023. Hope you guys are having a cracking day as this video finds you. As um, as I'm recording this, it is the day of the third place playoff in the 2022 Qatar World Cup between Croatia and Morocco. And uh, I, for one, will be watching it later on today. Anyway, we're here with Watford. Now, we have completed our transfer special. We did spend a buttload of money. We did have a bit of money come in as well. And uh, if you don't want to go through all the riffraff of the transfer special, it was probably close to an hour and a half long. I would really understand that. So uh, I'm going to be nice and I'm going to give you the transfer history. So we spent just under £100 million. The Omar Solo deal was already arranged because we had him in on loan for Minter Milan. We brought in Noah uh, Verstretten. I think that's how you say it. So he's in a uh, wonder kid from uh, Milan. AC Milan. I still prefer to call them AC Milan. He's a uh, right winger, uh, pretty much. So he can play there. And um, physicals are pretty good. Acceleration and agility. Um, 19 years old. Not been capped by Belgium yet, but it's all good. Uh, then we have Thomas Johan uh, bon Bonihan. Bonian. Bonian. I. I'm struggling with this one, uh, but this was a chap that we were in for before, but he chose to go to Spurs, understandable, I guess, so he comes in as an option up front and on the right wing, so that is really good, we signed Ruben Loftus-Cheek on a free transfer after he was finally released by Chelsea, after being there for literally his entire career, only play playing well, less than 150 games for them in the span of 16 years by the looks of it, so unlucky dude. Uh, we then signed Connor Gallagher. Now, um, this one, not exactly out of the blue, he came out on my scout reports, and Liverpool had him transfer listed for 27, and I thought, you know what, that's not a bad little fee for him. I think we paid roughly the same for Leicester when we were doing the beta save. We then got our right back. Uh, Thomas Estevez is in from Celtic, formerly, of course, of FC Porto. He spent quite a few years there. He spent three years there at Celtic. And, uh, yeah, we've managed to get him in. £23.5 million. All of it is not paid up front, of course. And then our final sign-in so far is Linus Schemp, who is a defensive midfielder. Potential to be pretty damn incredible, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, looks the part. And he comes in from Vepner's former club here in Veen. Speaking of Vepner... If you did watch the transfer special, then you would already know this. Uh, but he was the subject of a £55 million offer from Wolfsburg. Now, I didn't realise that he had a um, minimum release fee clause. Oh, I said it first time. Get in. Of £55 million, Wolfsburg met it. And I was at the time thinking, damn, if this goes through, I'm going to have close to £120 million to spend. But he rejected them. So, because he rejected them, I decided to offer him a brand new contract. He signed it. No clause. So, uh, that is awesome. You can see, if you again, if you did watch the transfer special, that I have changed my mind for this opening uh, game. Because we are at home to Rotherham, recently promoted from the Championship. I would assume they're not going to be that good. So, we are going to try on the 4-2-4 in this. Uh, but... Again, if you did watch the transfer special, I did show you our first few games. Now, this is by far the easiest, because if we have a look at the schedule, then you can see that we have Rotherham at home today, and we're also going to be doing the Chelsea game in this video. But then for the rest of the month, we have Man United away, Burnley at home, which again, is, should be a fairly easy game. But then we've got Liverpool away as well, so that's going to be tricky. Uh, but don't forget... We're in the Champions League as well, so we're going to have those load of fixtures out very soon. And I know we haven't got a lot of spendsies left, but I would... I mean, can I ask for more money? Can I ask for more money now? Increased transfer budget. But, I mean, we, all we can do is ask, because I would really need a few more players in, because this screen isn't even... 
I'm not even able to like move it up or down. That's just how many players we've got. So if we highlight everyone, we've got 25. See, that is not good enough to compete on in multiple competitions. Because we've got the Champions League, we've got the FA Cup, we've got the Carabao Cup. I would really like to win something this year if we're going to stick this season out with Watford. Um, but yeah, I mean, with the Spurs job, we did have the interview. But, I mean, I was kind of put off anyway because they, 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 weren't, they wouldn't reveal any budgets to me. If, like if I wasn't like offered the job, so I was like, so I was like, how can you expect me to accept it when, um, when I'm not being given any information about the job anyway? Um, I just have to help the dog with something. If you are in the UK, it is the seventeenth, eighteenth of December as I'm recording this. I think it's the seventeenth. 17th Saturday the 17th so just just a week before Christmas just just over a week before Christmas is absolutely freezing at the moment uh, the dogs are under the covers literally all day and thankfully after my incredibly hectic week at work I have my weekend off and you can probably tell it in my voice that I'm not 100% I literally I have done so much so much this week and I even have to do a bit of me MVQ this weekend as well so I'm not exactly looking forward to it anyway Let's forget about that for the moment because that's later for me. So let's get into this game against Rotherham. I think this is uh, a much better team than what we had last season. Um, I'm a little bit... I mean, with the central midfield options, uh, yes, we had youngsters and everything there before, but at least now it's a little bit more uh, concrete. I mean, we've got Gallagher in, and we know he's a really good midfielder. We've got Loftus-Cheekin, who will be able to slot into those spots. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm optimistic. Um, you know, uh, the board just want me to stay up again, which I think, I mean, we're obviously going to do that. So, um, oh, 22, 23, and 28. Why not? I just find it really hard handing out a number nine shirt. I don't know what it is. Because I always think as a number 9 as a striker. But then I also think as a number 10 and a 14 as a striker as well. Bo Heenan. Bo Heenan. Bo Heenan. Please try to remember that. Bo Heenan. This guy. He's got the number 10. And fepnar has got the number 14. If I was to sign another proper striker. Then um, I probably would give him the number 9 shirt. I know we've got the Croatian check youngster Nemec um, but he's like I say he's a youngster so I'm not going to give him the number 9 straight away am I <laughs> right oh look at that the new Spurs boss Valverde is in the stands that's taking the piss a little bit isn't it right Palmer absolutely incredible for us that last season of course right so we've got key highlights on of course that's cool um, interesting opening chance really just then I'm only I'm going to trial it here and I'm probably going to do it against Burnley as well but the other oh Christ that was a bad that was bad that was bad that was a good save from a rudder don't forget brand new goalkeeper uh, Trubbing kicked off a bit of a fuss when we signed a rudder so I said well if you're not happy you can do one and he did and oh my god Rotherham have gone close, close there haven't they right we're going to encourage it's not been the best of starts. We've not had a shot on target yet. But you know us. That's not exactly rare that we get 14 minutes into a game. We've had shots, but none on target. Yeah. Ferrero. Sole. Vepnar. Vepnar. Lovely ball to Divine. He puts it over the top for Palmer. Oh, that was terrible. Lovely ball there by Divine. A Divine pass, if you say. So lay back to a rudder. 17 minutes on the clock. Oh, so lay. That's twice you've. Oh my god. So that's twice so lay's made a mistake now as well. Oh, I just I'm just realised I didn't even introduce the team to you, did I? Oh, Estevez. Verstretten. Verstretten across to Vepna, and he can't 
hit it home. Uh, well, we're getting a lot of opportunities here. Oh, that was a gra cracking ball. Oh, but Palmer just can't apply the finish. But Rotherham, really? Oh, my God. Oh, Kumas. Oh, my God. The defence. What is going on with this defence? Oh, my God. Surely? That was, I think that was offside anyway. <laughs> yeah. Blimey. The defence. What is going on with this defence? Awful so far. <laughs> Don't forget, Rotherham have had their chances as well. Right, can we please take the lead before half time? Estevez for Stratton. Divine. Alfie Divine. Oh, and it's just over. Good opportunity there. But Alfie Divine, uh, for me, uh, and Soleil is on a 7. How the hell is he on a 7? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Ferrero, Cross, Sole, Divine, back to Sole, Ferrero now, Ferrero, lovely ball over the top for Bonihan, Bonihan puts across the vep, no, and it's home, the strikers combine for goal number one of the season, Bohinen to Vepna. And it's a goal. Lovely bit of play there from Ferrero. Boney and does really well to get it past a couple of defenders there. And Vepner smashes it home for 1 0. Oh, blimey. You saw Man City were leading 3 0. It's now 3 2. That's interesting. Yeah, it's 4 2 now. Leicester, of course, back in the Premier League. They've been relegated twice already in this save, which absolutely ludicrous, really. Oh, that's a decent save there from a rudder. I thought that was going in for a sec. I, d I mean, I really want him to be the new Yorhito because I've just never seen a goalkeeper like Yorhito since the FC United of Manchester save. Divine, lovely ball there to Bonian. Oh, he's put a lovely ball through to Vepna. And Vepna, oh. Verstraten now. And he get the ball back in. He can't. Estevez puts the ball to Divine. Divine to cross. And it's a goal. Did that take a deflection? That didn't look all completely clean hit. And it's 2-0. Lovely stuff. Estevez to uh, Divine. Divine to Crofts. No, that was a completely clean shot. I'm quite surprised by that because it looked like it was right at the keeper. So, um, yeah, Estevez. Lovely ball there to Verstraten now. Verstraten cuts it into Divine. Divi Divine's had a cracking game. Stratton to Vepna, hits it against the keep, the defender, cross keeps it, oh, really? I'm going to say, Alfie Divine to take the free kick, oh, and that's unlucky. Alfie Divine, for me, has had an absolutely incredible game. He has probably been the best player on the pitch. Um, cross is coming off the Loftus cheek. Um, I'm going to give Nevek, uh, sorry, Nemek a chance here. Let's take him on for Vepna. Um, I want to bring Yanusi on as well. So that will do for now. Those three changes, absolutely fine. Ferrero with a free kick. Let's put it in. And it's headed. Oh, just over. And that was from Sole, to be fair. So, fair enough. Alright, so we're looking good for this win. We have been really good, I would say. Um, there's been times where we haven't. That's admitted. Right, Lucas is going to come on. As is Connor Gallagher. Let's go with that. 
And Rotherham with the throw now. Loftus cheek to the Stratton. He's a I was gonna say plays a lovely ball to Nemec, but it didn't even get close to him. Oh, that's a cracking tackle. And we can just chill here with the ball. <coughs> Ferrero. For Stratton. That was an awful pass from Ferrero. I'm not blaming there. Arada makes a decent save there. Arada's been really good today. He's had a fair bit to deal with. 11 shots on goal, 4 of those on target. So he's kept them all out so far. Hopefully he will continue to do so as well. Doyle. So then, and again, does that go for another corner? It does. <coughs> Just a normal bark there in the background. No reason behind it. <laughs> Completely random. Don't know why Frankie just did that. But there we go. Right, uh, four minutes have added on time. And we have another highlight here. Yanusi, Nemec, Yanusi, Lucas, Yanusi. Yanusi puts it over the top. Uh, it's going to absolutely nowhere. I mean, to be fair, you can say Rotherham have really gave a good account of us themselves here. Lucas, a uh, Palmer, oh god, Boney in, Palmer now, Palmer, oh, tries to get it through to Nemec, but he can't quite, Palmer, there's a 1-2 with the Rotherham player there, and they've scored, to their credit, I think they do deserve that, because they have actually played fairly well, um, a narrow win in the end. It was always going to be difficult because of the new tactic. And obviously, we've been training it, of course. But no one's played it before in a game. Um, yeah, that's. Um, I think that's a fair comment, to be fair. Win was a win, but it was a let-off. It was a bit of a let-off. I mean, we were okay. We were okay. In the end of the day, we did deserve the win. But, you know, if we play that way against Chelsea next video, next game, then we're going to get slaughtered. So, there we go. Now, there is only a few days before that Chelsea game. So, I think we'll probably just skip ahead to it now. So, well, here we are for the Chelsea game. Now, because I forgot to introduce you to the team against Rotherham, I'll do it now against Chelsea instead. Uh, excuse me. We're <laughs> going with a Rotherham goal. A bat for... Uh, <laughs> Ferrero, Soleil, Kumas and Estevez <coughs> Right, I'll tell you what I'll probably leave that little blooper in there anyway So, here was the team we are sending to Chelsea A rudder in goal A back four of Ferrero, Soleil, Kumas and Estevez Schamp, Cross and Divine in midfield Palmer and Bonihan Heenan Heenan Bohinen I keep botching this name And of course Vepner up front We do have a brand new sign in Masamitsu Nakamura I think I did alright with that, you know. Uh, so he comes in, uh, defensive midfielder, slash midfielder, of course. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, he want, Okay, so we'd like the number 6. 6 is taken up by Palmer. So how about you have the number 26 instead? You've still got a 6 on there, haven't you? So can't be too disheartened by that. Let's see what we can do here. Um... Uh, we didn't do so well against Chelsea last season. I think we drew the home game and lost the away game. It's understandable, really. But the away game, we took the lead twice but and still managed to lose. So, there we go. Let's see. I thought that said Kane then, but Kante. Kante's still playing. Jesus. He must be, like, mid-30s now. That really does surprise me. Right, half an hour into this game, we've had more shots on target than what Chelsea have, that's good. Oh, Haaland missed the penalty, Jesus Christ. Right, finally, 35 minutes on the clock and we have a first highlight. Estevez to Kumas, cross, back to Schamp, Schamp, oh my god. Thought he was going to be, oh, and Kanta, I mean, Mountain's done well there, to be fair. But we, I mean, Cross has done well because he still managed to get the ball back. Right, Sole, Ferrero. So like we're being pegged back a little bit here. I don't like. Oh, so late for. F and Havetz is. Oh, okay. So very good goalkeeping there by a rudder. 
But Soleil, what are you doing, man? My God. He... We didn't use him a lot last season, I will admit that, but... He's not exactly shown me that he's Premier League material by these first couple of performances. Harwood Bellis is close to coming back in for him. Oh, Estevez really needs to come off. Um, I suppose Harwood Bellis it is. Right, for Fana, for Chelsea, Kovacic, to Rhys James. Oh, Palmer's managed to nick the ball off Rhys James, and he's got... Oh, he's away. He's away. He's got a couple more defenders. Go on, Palmer, go down. Oh. <clears throat> we have not done too bad here. Right, let's change things up a little bit. Let's bring Nakamura on for Divine. Let's bring Richarlison on for Palmer. Let's bring Verstraten on for Bonihan. And we'll bring Doig on for Ferrero. Let's do that. Right, a nil-nil here I would certainly accept. Because Chelsea... Uh, they probably do deserve to win this, but we've not actually done that bad. So, I think in nil nil here would certainly be an upgrade on what we did last season. And um, that's exactly what we've done. We were dead level on there. XG was up. More corners. More fouls, of course. Less passes, and Chelsea had more possession. You know what, guys? I'll take that. That weren't a bad... We play, I mean... Yeah, a point at Chelsea is a good point, I would say. So, um, certainly a better performance than what we did against Rotherham. And, yeah, I will take that. And that's exactly what we've got to do in these games away from home. We've got to shut up shop a little bit, go to a balanced mentality, 4-3-3. And, yeah, it worked for us. It really did work. Rotherham beat Leicester, Jesus. Wow. And Liverpool are rock bottom. <laughs> awesome. So, I'll take that. Four points from those opening two games. Um, I'm not expecting that run to continue because, obviously, we've got Man United away from home in a couple of days. And we're playing Liverpool at the end of the month as well. Right, speaking of the schedule. I was referring to the schedule, sort of. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to play through the rest of August and the deadline day as well. Because, I'm pretty sure, before the Wolves game, we will have our first Champions League game. So, um will be coming back and showing you that because obviously we're in the group stage of the Champions League because we finished third last season awesome stuff but thank you very much for watching this video if you did go in to enjoy it be sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button if you do happen to be new and I will see you again next time thank you again for watching ciao for now